Hello, I've just finished another junk journal. This one measures 6 by 9. It has one signature. It has a soft cover. I've layered fabric over two layers of cardstock and machine stitched all the way around. I've taken a printed image and covered it with Mod Podge to seal it and layered some printed fabric, cardstock, and a little bit of lace for dimension, um, some pearls here of different sizes, some lace that's sewn along the edge. I like to leave my binding threads on the outside of the journal so that I can attach these pretty sorry silk lace and eyelash trims. And I've made the closure from sorry silk and I've added eyelets. This is the back. And we'll take a look inside. The inside page is this pretty butterfly printed cardstock. And the opening page, one of my photographs, and I've got a tuck spot here that is cardstock stitched with some fabric and eyelet and crochet trim. Some punched butterflies here. Some pretty scrapbooking paper layered with some eyelash trim and a pretty corner pocket that flips up and a punched journaling card here and this pretty trifold journaling space and there's lots of journaling space in this journal space for writing space for adding paper or ephemera or photographs or whatever and this is coffee dyed paper with a fabric flip and I've added some lined paper here stitched some lace and eyelash trim at the top this is the back of a sheet of accounting paper and I've reinforced it with some pretty paper and stamped doilies on this edge and with a beaded paper clip added a handmade envelope that I've stitched a pocket on one end and a journaling card and stamped some dragonflies and these are nice because when they're paper clipped to the edge they can be moved anywhere throughout the journal so it's a lot of versatility there this page was made from a collage that I did where I used paper napkins and some stenciling and I printed it or scanned it and printed it out for a journal page and I've stitched some fabric along the edge this printed image layered with some book page and cardstock and second hand stores you can pick up some stationery and I stamped inside Stamped some bees here, some printed vellum. This was shelf liner paper, and I fussy cut the flower and the text. And along the edges, I used some dark purple thread and just added some detail stitching for something pretty. And this flips over some more fussy cut image. And this just Kind of goes on and on here and folds in lots of space for adding pictures some scrapbooking paper i've stitched a piece of vintage rickrack one of my photos a color book page and this pocket was stitched on layered some fabric some lace and some old rickrack journaling card. Another one of my collages. This one I used some vintage handkerchief with some printed tissue paper and some notebook paper, book page, and then scan fat. Fussy cut these flowers out to match the flowers on this book page and then punched along the edge. 
another tuck spot here with some layers of paper, the edge off of a vintage handkerchief. And this corner tuck spot layered an image with book page and cardstock. Put some coffee dyed paper here so that you could journal on that, on that. And this pretty tag. And this paper is actually something probably from the 40s or 50s. My grandparents were doing live radio. Um, they were country music entertainers and did live radio performances in the 40s and 50s. And this paper was in with some of their things that I just recently got around to going through. And it's heavier than average music paper, so I thought it was nice for the journal. And this page is coffee dye paper and I stenciled and stamped and this goes over the top and it, it can be placed anywhere in the journal but I tried to make the two go together but I printed the bees on book page and then machine stitched with brown thread and punched at the top and placed eyelets and, and some brown cord at the top um, stamped some bees on the inside and that can go right over the top or anywhere in the journal and on the back some layered writing page and this pretty yellow and green warbler this came from a book on bird identification and I've layered some scrapbook paper and washi tape along the inside edge and over here just layered some paper and an image stamped layering with an image of a bird center of the signature punched flowers a die cut butterfly more coffee dyed paper this pocket is machine stitched the image here a little bit of lace and the story behind this image there's a lady named Angela Anderson who does step-by-step -step acrylic painting tutorials and I followed along with her and painted this bird nest with the pretty blue eggs in it and when I finished my painting I photographed it opened the image in Photoshop and printed that out on vellum and then used brown thread to machine stitch that onto music paper and cardstock and you can journal on the back. Some scrapbook paper, another image, some stamping, I machine stitched some crochet trim along the edge and stitched on a tuck spot and this pretty tag, this um, accounting paper style cardstock I did the stamping here and then separately stamped the text and attached that, stitched all the way around and stitched some fabric and plenty of space to journal on the back. And this is the second half of that nice music paper. And I've made this tag and on the back of the tag that holds it to the page this pretty altered paper clip. I've layered some music paper and various elements there and stapled a butterfly. And this pretty tag has a pocket, machine stitched, some actually vintage school paper on the back, and some various tags to go in the pockets. A sticker. Another sticker, second half of the book about flowers, vintage work rack stitched on, layered some cardstock and an image and a piece of a vintage handkerchief, the back half of one of the collages, coffee dye paper, stamping, layered some fabric with some cheesecloth, eyelash trim, and a silk flower. You could tuck something up under there. Layering here, cardstock, lace, an image, coloring book page. I stitched a pocket here and a tag inside the pocket. 
added text here. There's beauty and simplicity and stamp some butterflies. In one of my photos. Book page layered with a fussy cut flower image. Stitch this along the edge. This page I've taken two pieces of fabric and a piece of yellow trim and made another flip. Lots of space to write. The purple stitching. This is a page from a calendar. The second half of the vellum page. Layered some scrapbook paper with some eyelet and another altered paper clip that is holding a tag on the back page. And the paper clip is made from cardstock layered with some papers and this pretty remnant of some embroidered tool. Very pretty, very delicate. And this is the tag that was on this page. This is the back of the other collage. Pretty sunflowers with a fabric pull. I've made a pocket here. Bicycle built for two. A journaling card. Paper stitched along the inside edge. Stitched all the way around this coffee dyed paper. Added some fabric to the edge. Layered some book page and a bird image. Some pretty paper. Some more dragonflies and matched that up with some more paper on the inside edge and the back page of the journal. There you have it. Another pretty journal that I enjoyed working on. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye.